Welcome to Maximize Your Profits in ERCOT, back here at Grid Forecasting. And let's just get right into it. Everything to the right of this gray dotted line is going to be our PNR forecast. Everything to the left is going to be Muse data. Um, so that's where we, you know, are, are fusing kind of our PNR forecast and our Muse data together so you can view the information in a very similar way. Um, so for this particular constraint, you, you'll be able to see, um, you know, all of the, uh, the constraint flows, the monitored flows for this constraint. Um, you'll be able to see, um, you know, the transmission outages that we're using uh, in the model, um, all for six days out. And you can also go back and look at historicals as well. And to look at historicals, if you click on historical forecast, what we do is we put in the 4 a.m. model, uh, the 4 a.m. Uh, forecast from the prior day. So I can toggle off these shadow prices here, and you guys should see in the past that on a day ahead basis, we were forecasting significant shadow prices for these hours, every hours with the purple shading. And then you can layer on over the real time prices to see. And then from here, you know, you, again, you can click on the spreads. So, you know, you can click and view, you know, the the max spread and this is what we were forecasting for these days or we we're forecasting um you know up to five days out and you can view all the same information so you can see that okay this katarina constraint was you know the primary driver um of spreads on this path in the past and it looks to be the primary driver in the future as well though, although there are some other constraints here that are causing some smaller spreads um, and then you can also see, you know, what our real time forecast was on a, on a day ahead basis versus the actual real time and then where the day had cleared for this particular path. And let's go back and see if this is loaded so you can see what our forecast is for this particular generator. You know, these, these are some inputs that go into our model for the next few days. And then you can view, you know, our, uh, our price forecast. So including the RDC adder um, for the next six days as well. So those are the, the main screens for PNR forecast. There are a few macro screens, which I'm going to show as well. One of them is our daily binding constraints. Daily binding constraints is a way to view, you know, on a on a very high level what, what congestion is going to be binding um, for the next few days. So what we've done is we've ordered this by actual shadow price of over the last seven days. So everything in between these two gray lines are actual sum of actual shadow prices for the for the day across all 24 hours for each day. And then everything on the right is going to be what our model is forecasting. So you can actually see, you know, there are some, you know, a couple of constraints here that we're forecasting in the next few days. And then you can scroll down and see some other ones that might be returning that really haven't found maybe in the last couple of days that that could be coming back. So a very high level way way to view that. Um, you could even view some of the different streams here by 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 looking at a high net load, a low net load, whatever, however you want to look at it. Um, another view would be hourly binding, same same thing as this, but in hourly, 